Hey, good morning to you. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. The Apostle Paul, in his second letter to the church at Corinth, in chapter 9, in verse 8, makes this statement. He said, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound unto every good work. In other words, Paul said that for the believer, his sufficiency is of God. And since we have everything that we need through our relationship with the Almighty, through Jesus Christ and his finished work, with the seal of the Holy Spirit and our hands upon the word of God, we lack nothing. We have everything we need to be the kind of Christian that the Lord would have us to be. Also, as a result of having all sufficiency, we therefore have all satisfaction. There really is, for the believer, nothing he needs to satisfy himself other than his full relationship with Christ, which gives him direction in every other area of life. Joseph Stalin was the communist dictator of Russia, died in about 1953 or 56, somewhere in the 1950s. After his death, his daughter Svetlana uh, made her way to the U.S. She defected, left Russia, and came here. And when she did, she came here on the basis of the fact that she had a God-shaped void in her heart and life that communism couldn't fill. It, it was Pascal who said that every man has this God-shaped vacuum in his life and that, and that nothing can fill it other than God. And so I read to you Svetlana's words. She said, I found it impossible to exist without God in one's heart. I came to that conclusion myself without anybody's help or preaching. That was a great change because since that moment, the main dogmas of communism lost their significance to me. I have come here to seek the self-expression that has been denied me for so long in Russia. In other words, she said, God was missing, and therefore everything else was missing. On his deathbed, Stalin shook his fist at God in one last act of defiance and fell upon his pillow and died. That was the words of his daughter Svetlana regarding his last moments. Hey, let Christ be your sufficiency and your satisfaction. Think on these things today, my friend, and as always, you have a great day.